Once upon a time, in a small village called Yuzo, there lived a young girl named Bianca. She grew up in a humble mud house with her stepmother, Emilia, and her stepsister, Esther. Unfortunately, Bianca's life was far from easy. She was subjected to constant abuse and maltreatment by her stepmother. Bianca was forced to do all the household chores and run endless errands while Amelia and Esther lazed around. Despite the hardship, Bianca grew up to be one of the most beautiful girls in the entire village. Her radiant smile and kind heart were admired by all who knew her. This only fueled the jealousy within Esther, who could not stand to see Bianca's beauty overshadowing her own. One day, Esther and Amelia decided to take matters into their own hands. They schemed to poison Bianca, hoping to ruin her beauty forever. Their plan worked, and Bianca woke up with dark spots covering her previously flawless skin. The enchanting beauty she had possessed was now dimmed. Heartbroken and distraught, Bianca continued to endure the mistreatment, as her stepmother and stepsister gloated in their perceived victory. However, fate had a different plan in store for Bianca. On a fateful day, while on her way to the stream to fetch water, Bianca met an old woman. The old woman, struggling to carry a heavy bundle of firewood, refused Bianca's initial offer to help. But Bianca's kind heart persisted, and after much persuasion, the old woman relented. Deeply grateful for Bianca's assistance, the old woman offered her a gift as a token of appreciation, a beautiful curry shell. She told Bianca that when the time came that she wanted something, she should whisper her desires into the curry, and her wishes would come true. Skeptical but appreciative, Bianca accepted the gift to avoid hurting the old woman's feelings. Returning home late into the night, Bianca faced the wrath of her stepmother, Emilia, who accused her of stopping by a man's house. Bianca endured a severe beating and was denied food for the night. Her suffering continued, but she clung to the hope that things would eventually get better. Days turned into weeks, and the abuse Bianca endured at the hands of her stepmother and stepsister only intensified. Despite the relentless torment, Bianca held on to a glimmer of hope that better days would eventually come. Soon, news spread throughout the village that the prince had decided to choose a wife from the eligible ladies, who were expected to gather at the palace on the next Ick market day. Esther, filled with ambition and a longing to be the next queen, eagerly anticipated the event. Bianca, aware that her stepmother would never allow her to attend, resigned herself to the fact that she would miss out on the festivities. When the day came, Amelia made sure to dress Esther beautifully and instructed her make sure she does all she can to get the attention of the prince. Bianca was left alone with loads of work. This, Amelia did intentionally to stop her from attending the ceremony. While cleaning her room, she stumbled upon the forgotten curry shell. Remembering the old woman's words, she whispered her desire to be beautiful again into the curry, despite her initial doubts. To Bianca's astonishment, as she finished uttering her wish, a radiant aura enveloped her. The spots that marred her once flawless skin faded away, revealing her true inner beauty. Her tattered, threadbare clothes transformed, adorning her in a vibrant and elegant traditional attire. In that moment, Bianca knew she had been granted a miraculous gift. The old woman, appearing before her once again, reaffirmed the powers of the cowrie shell and warned Bianca that the enchantment would last until midnight. Grateful for the gift, Bianca thanked the old woman before rushing out into the night, determined to experience the joy of the village celebrations she had missed for far too long. Arriving at the palace filled with reverie, Bianca could hardly believe her eyes. The other eligible ladies danced and flaunted their beauty, hoping to capture the attention of the prince who sought a bride. Bianca, however, chose not to partake in the competition. Instead, she wandered through the palace grounds, awestruck by the grandeur surrounding her. As fate would have it, the prince caught sight of Bianca amidst the festivities. Mesmerized by her exceptional beauty, he was captivated by her presence and approached her to get to know her. Before they could engage in conversation, however, Bianca's heart pounded with panic as she spotted her stepmother approaching. Fearful of being recognized, Bianca retreated into the shadows. To her relief, 
the enchantment of the cowrie shell shielded those around her from identifying her true identity, except for the discerning eyes of the prince. They spend the evening sharing stories, dreams, and aspirations, forming a deep and authentic connection. Bianca discovered herself falling for the prince's genuine and compassionate nature. Bianca found herself falling for the prince's kind and genuine nature, and she felt a deep connection with him. As the prince mustered up the courage to ask Bianca to be his wife, she suddenly felt a strange sensation, realizing that the enchantment of the cowrie shell was nearing its end. Panicked, she hastily excused herself, promising to return with an answer. Bianca ran through the palace grounds, desperately trying to make it back home before the midnight deadline. The prince, realizing she was in a hurry, followed her with determination to receive her response. As he chased after her, he noticed a delicate pair of earrings she had dropped along the way. With a glimmer of hope, he picked them up, thinking that the sight of her lost jewelry would catch her attention and make her stop. However, to his dismay, she vanished before his eyes, leaving him disappointed but holding onto the earrings as a sign that he might find her again someday. The following morning, the prince embarked on a determined quest, going door to door in search of a woman who possessed the matching pair of earrings. Days turned into nights as he tirelessly sought a clue that could lead him back to her. Despite his persistence, he could not find anyone who possessed the missing piece. Deeply longing to find her, thoughts of her consumed his mind, just as thoughts of him consumed Bianca's mind. However, she had relinquished hope of ever being with him, believing that her appearance rendered her undeserving of love and companionship. She considered herself an unattractive woman, convinced that no man could be interested in someone like her. When the day arrived that the prince reached Bianca's house, she happened to be away, busy gathering firewood. Meanwhile, her stepsister, Esther, took advantage of the situation and slipped into Bianca's room. Fueled by jealousy, Esther's intention was to find evidence that would get Bianca into trouble. To her surprise, her eyes fell upon a cowry, a beautiful shell she had never seen before. Intrigued by its origins, Esther moved closer and stumbled upon an exquisite pair of earrings lying beside the shell. The earrings possessed a unique beauty that perfectly matched the descriptions given by the other maidens. Consumed by envy, Esther impulsively discarded the cowrie shell and hurriedly reported her discovery of the earrings to her mother, Amelia, with the hope of securing her own marriage to the prince. Amelia, driven by greed and blinded by ambition, convinced Esther to keep the discovery of the earrings a secret. Together, they concocted a scheme to utilize the earrings to their advantage, plotting to present Esther as the mysterious beauty who had captured the prince's attention at the palace. Their scheme worked flawlessly once again, and the prince, deceived by their ruse, escorted Esther back to the palace, believing she was the one he had been searching for all along. Unbeknownst to Bianca, who returned home after her arduous day, Amelia had expelled her from the house, carelessly casting her belongings outside. Amelia offered no explanation, demanding that Bianca leave and never return under the threat of her life. Knowing her stepmother's cruel nature and understanding the severity of the situation, Bianca had no choice but to comply, sacrificing her home and her dreams of a future with the prince as she departed quietly into the unknown. Heartbroken and with no place left to turn, Bianca sought solace in the arms of the kind old woman she had encountered before. She tearfully recounted the events that had unfolded, and the old woman promised to assist her in reclaiming what was rightfully hers. On the day of the prince's marriage to Esther, Bianca emerged, her beauty fully restored. All traces of the spots that had once marred her skin had vanished. Adorned in a stunning traditional attire, she arrived at the palace, captivating all who laid eyes upon her. Bianca approached the prince and confided in him, revealing the truth about Esther and her stepmother's wicked plot. Initially skeptical, the prince decided to put both Esther and Bianca to the test. He posed a series of questions about their encounter that fateful night, and while Esther stumbled with each answer, Bianca effortlessly recalled every detail they had shared. Convinced of Bianca's sincerity, the prince confronted Amelia and Esther, demanding the truth. In a dramatic turn of events, Amelia was forced to confess to her malevolence and reveal the truth behind her husband's death and Bianca's mother's unfortunate fate. Esther, overcome with guilt, 
admitted to her cruel act of poisoning Bianca, which had caused the appearance of the spots. The village's elders, filled with righteous anger, banished Amelia and Esther from the kingdom forever, ensuring that they could no longer inflict harm on anyone again. With justice served, the prince realized the love he held for Bianca was pure and true. The prince and Bianca were married in a grand celebration that echoed throughout the village. The sound of traditional drums and jubilant singing filled the air as the villagers rejoiced in the union of their beloved prince and the once mistreated Bianca. From that day forward, Bianca and the prince ruled the kingdom with compassion and wisdom, bringing prosperity and happiness to their people. And as for the kind old woman, she continued to guide and support Bianca along her journey. It was revealed that the old woman was a revered spirit who had been watching over Bianca since her birth, ensuring that she would overcome her hardships and find true happiness.